Alex is here. I'm a full stack developer at One Ledger. I work at various products here. I do front end and back end. Recently, we had an internal hackathon where we created a domain name service which we called Pick a Domain. Let me quickly walk you through it. So, guys, the main purpose for this app was to simplify the process of sending funds to the address instead of memorizing the whole sequence of hashed characters you can use something you can easily remember which is called the domain uh, you could either create your domain where the first thing you need to do is to authenticate yourself with the world once you authenticate it you can see an active key pair which you're going to use to sign any action you're going to do so let's try to create a domain for instance the btc BTC, unfortunately, is not available for purchase, for creation. So let's do something else. Let's do test. Yeah, this domain is available. We can go ahead and create it. We're going to provide a password. And you will see this domain in the list of your domain domains. By the way, here's the sale list of your domain you want to sell. You can unlist something from here. It's also password protected. Or you can do the same thing from the uh, all domains list as well. As you can see, you can disable or enable any domain from the uh, all my domain screen. And also you can update the price if you want to. And of course you can put it on sale. Let's see what is available for purchase. Oh yeah, that's by the way your domain you just put on sale. Now let's see what's available for purchase at the moment. <clears throat> Currently we have three domains available, which is .ca, .com and .biz. Let's try to buy something, for instance, .ca. Oh yeah, you can, you can just provide the confirmation and we are, and the password, of course. And this domain is not available for purchase anymore, but it is going to be in your list of the domains. So it's yours. Um, there is one more thing to show, which is send to domain. Uh, we can still provide some domain address, which has to be a valid, of course, and the amount you want to send and the password. And that's all. It's all sent. You do not see any like user output or confirmation at the moment uh, because it's not a valid address, of course. But the whole idea is just to send it in one click and you can ch check your balance. OK, I ran out of funds. On the dashboard, you can use your imagination to put any components or charts, whatever you want uh, to have uh, information about. Thank you.